Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is the DOUG here for his first of maybe two today video face video uh, face video video uh, videos where you get to see my face. Yeah, that was more bo that was botched. I probably need to put it on Botchamania. Anyway, the first one is going to be about the new Mortal Kombat film. I saw it last night in theaters because, um, as many of you know who follow me and watch my streams, I said I wanted to see that in theaters, and luckily I did. So I do want to say good job, Movie Tavern, for being open. You know, your pizzas suck, but you can't complain the ticket was $5 because it was Tuesday. Popcorn was delicious. Soda was decent. Um, but to the movie. Now, I'm not going to try, I'm not going to spoil too much because I want people to go see it because I want them to be a sequel. I want a sequel. So... If you haven't seen the movie yet, I'd probably say stop watching just because of the fact that I'm going to discuss a few things from the movie, but not overall. Um, so first, uh, I'm going to give props to some of the actors, the ones who, particularly the three that I thought did the best job with the character they were given. The one who played Kano, excellent job. I think the movie theater was laughing at a lot of his lines. He did a good job. Um, so I give him props for that because Kano's kind of... Kano in the game is pretty much a jack as a jackass, but he was able to be at least a lovable jackass, and isn't that was good. Um, the one who played Sonya also did a good job, and I loved her story arc in the movie. I thought that was very well done. Um, and then, of course, third pops, my girl Melina. Like I've said in many of my Mortal Kombat streams, Melina is my waifu. Melina for life. Um, so yeah, those are my three big pops as far as for actors and actresses. So as for the story... I understood why they introduced a new character now, because everyone was bitching about it. I, I know I was too, thinking, oh, they replaced. But I get why he was in it now, after watching the whole film. So I said, good job on that. Maybe he might be a character in a Mortal Kombat 12 game, which would be very interesting. Because if you ever played Mortal Kombat, one through any of them, um, you pretty much know the backstory of Scorpion. So it was kind of interesting on that take. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail what it was exactly on that. Um, I was to say the two characters that I was very surprised to see in the film because one of them hasn't really been talked about since Mortal Kombat 4 and the other one Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, but I'm not going to say who they were. You got to see the film for yourself. Um, I will say this, looking how it ended, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a part two. I already have a feeling I know one character who's going to be in it. Um, and as far as for the big... Thing, you know, at the end when it's you see who's they're going to recruit next. I was going to say this. Can we get Miz to play Johnny Cage, please? Come on. I don't make the most sense. Miz would be perfect. And I don't want to hear Ryan Reynolds' name. It needs to be the Miz. Um, so, that gives me to my next part. A lot of people I've noticed love the film. and I, But I noticed a few people hated it as well, saying that the original one's better. I went into not even thinking about the original movie uh, from the 90s because of the fact of if I did, I might have not enjoyed it. It's kind of like with the female Ghostbusters movie they did a years ago. If you go in expecting it to be the same old, same old, you're going to be disappointed probably. Um, now, I will say a positive with this film. The fatalities are awesome. They did a great job with the fatalities. Very bloody and gruesome just like the games. I give props to that. Um... I am kind of shy to about one character, but again, I'm not going to mention that in the video because I want you guys to see it. Please go see it in theaters or watch it on HBO Max. Give it the time it deserves. Um, now, somebody who's seen the original, there are a few things different here and there. Um, the original, it only had all the characters from the first game. This one, it had characters a little bit from MK1, MK2... Definitely MK3, and then of course the two I mentioned that really don't get talked about a lot from um, Deadly Alliance and Mortal Kombat 4. I know someone's like, well they were in Armageddon, and everybody was in fucking Armageddon. So no. Um, but again, the fatalities were very well done. I They did very good, again, the uh, upgrade in graphics and technology there. Um, and the f final fight was pretty good, kind of. You kind of knew where it was going at a certain point, but it was okay. I was okay with that in this case. Um, so here's the thing. Do I think we're going to get a sequel? Yes. Um, do I think we're going to get any costumes for the um, from the movie that are going to be in MK11? Probably not. I don't really see that just because of the fact that we're going to get announced 
sometime in the next few months that Injustice 3 is coming out, so get ready for that. But the question is, is this as good or better than the original? Well, the original is a classic and will probably always be in everyone's fave because, you know, it is one of the few video game films that did well. I think this one will be just as loved as well because it does do well. The story's good. The actors all do a great job, particularly the ones for Kano and Sony in particular. Um, so I'm going to give Mortal Kombat 2021, I think that'd be the best way to put it in the title, a 4 out of 5. Very good. Love everything. I mean, anybody knows me knows I very give out 5s out of 5s. I was thinking about it, but there was like one or two things that kind of I didn't really great with it but i do think if you love the games you'll probably love this it is a great fan service movie um and i think we will be sequels i wouldn't be surprised if this becomes the next resident evil franchise in the sense of how many resident evil films we had i think that's what mortal Kombat's going to be which is a good thing because you know a lot of people hate the live action resident evils it did make its money um so i think i would definitely say if you can't go to a theater go watch mortal Kombat. if you can't watch it on hbo max a plus whatever they call it um now of course don't forget later today if the plus games get announced i will be doing a video about that um i don't know if they're going to be announced today or tomorrow because there is that say to play tomorrow uh, which we'll be probably discussing that as well i do have a stream to do tonight two streams actually um because they're both take a look at um but until then guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys thought of mortal kombat was it great good bad it's somewhere in between until then I know I got, I know Rosie's going to say I need to shave my hair and get a haircut. Well, nah. But until then, have a good night, have a good day, and have a wonderful week. And don't forget, tomorrow is the NFL Draft. Woo, woo, woo.